Huh. Oh, right, right. The, I can actually tell who that is. I, I don't remember. But I can tell that if you go into the archives in the bureau on the main menu, um, you can look which part of the team these guys are from. And because I have the Sinner Gurafano, um, I have unlocked her quote unquote team. Like, I've not, I don't have all the Sinners in her team, but I've unlocked them. And if you look at the center one, it's usually the leader of that team. So, whosoever that is, I'm guessing she's that she's talking about. If it's what you desire, I can take you to her. Are you talking about your patron? Or the leader of your organization? It's the new family I tried so hard to find. She answers sincerely and the emotion in her voice seems to move Rahu. The FSC soldier remains silent for a while. You say she'll help you seek revenge. And then the mania you released and the corruptor monsters you brought. She was behind all that? She gave you those to seek revenge? I mean, technically, uh, here's the question. Your father was like a like a person, like normal person, and he got killed. Like, look at the security officers that are like protecting the villa. They're just normal folk too. So, like, their kids will come after you after this. Then, like, I don't even know what the hell. I mean, that's why they say like revenge can be like a cyclical. I don't know if that's the right word. It's a cyclic formation. It just goes round and round and round, never ends. But you know, what can you do? That's just how the world is. Keep doing it. The woman you're trying to kill and the people around her. What crimes have they committed? Why are you treating them like this? The assassin detects Rao's hostility. A trace of disappointment flashes in her eyes. She feels, she feels up a few noodle, needles as she calculates the duration of the talks and tries to make a final argument. She's from Paradesos, Ra. No one from Paradesos is innocent. They are all enemies. The most powerful and terrible enemies. You hate her too. Don't you? Just like you risked your life to become a sinner. I must gain the strength to fight them. We all have to fight for what we want. We all have to give up some things. Revenge is about giving your all. You know that best, don't you? Now is your chance. We can help you. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like some... Um you know, martial manuas or whatever cultivation ones. You're just like, you know, a, a person from a certain sect pisses off someone from like, who's super strong or whatever, and then they're like, to take their quote unquote revenge or whatever in that situation, they will just wipe out the entire sect. Like, the entire sect, like thousands of people at some times so just get wiped out. And I suppose that's just how the strong do, you know? Sometimes you just have to be fucking brutal with it, you know. Kind of like the fucking um, Israel-Palestine conflict, conflict going on right now. The Hamas they came in and fucked them up, and now they're going in to take revenge. And yeah, during that revenge, Palestinian lives will be lost, and that's quite literally, idealistically speaking, that's very um, unfortunate. But and that should not be happening. But realistically speaking, that's just what is going to happen. That's just where it's going at the moment. So nothing, no one can do about it. You can't really blame anyone on the whole thing. I suppose you can blame Hamas because they started it. But whatever. Now is your chance. We can help you. If you're telling the truth, then I get it. There's no such thing as we. Don't kid yourself, and don't confuse us as the same kind. He throws the hypercube on her body aside, smashes her shields, triggering the violent mania in her body to neutralize the toxins. I'm an FAC soldier. I will protect my comrades in arms, the front line, and all those who must be protected in this city. I will give my all to fight against the villains who harm them. I will rebuild all the ruined morals the FAC way. Even if I'm the only one on that dark and lonesome path, I'll keep going till I die. That is my revenge. Yet you, doing the bidding of shady gutter rats, abusing mania to kill innocents, and using revenge as an excuse to do evil. We've never been the same kind. You're but a useful idiot exploited by others. Well, that is also true because technically 
she might be getting used by whosoever owns the organization as like a piece as a soldier. You, your organization, and the scumbags behind you shall always be the FAC's enemies. I love the fucking like thunder power coming out of her eye. Is that blood on her thigh? Um. What a pity. I really wanted to take you home. All right, combat. I'll be back. Okay, simple combat. There's a huge gap in strength between the two. In just a split second, Garafano gets knocked down and a heavy shield pins her to the ground, immobilizing her. I'm guessing Garafano is A rank then. What brute force? Are you a monster? What evil have you done to gain such strength? I thought it was clothes were torn or something, but okay. Does your dear FAC know? <coughs> Who is the person directing you? You call her family, so you must be very close. If I capture you, will she come looking for you? You have to talk with each other, why don't you just capture her? She's probably gonna escape anyway. What do you want to do? Her voice turns cold. I want to go to Paradisos. To do that, I need an opportunity to present them with a gift. You and your master will make the perfect gift. There are those in Paradisos who want you guys. Did you know about that? I see. So I'm not the only one you want. <sighs> come now. Either fess up on your own, or wait for your family to come rescue you. You choose. Didn't she say she's a savior for revenge seekers? Then she will definitely come find you. In that case, you have quite the potential to be an evildoer. Stop fretting over your so-called justice. You're already unfit to work for the FAC. I suppose only when you're strong you should be looking for revenge, like strong, strong. Like S-Class Center is not gonna do the trick against a big, big ass organization. Answer my questions! I have no patience with my enemies. The heavy shield slams down again with bone cracking force. Garafana groans in pain, yet wears a mask and an intoxicated smile. There is no more kindly enticement in her eyes, only hostility and malice. <laughs> You've waited for ten years already. Why the rush now? I gave you that floral letter quite a while ago. Did you read it? Did you not understand it? <laughs> Just straight up tell me what's in it. I don't want to play more riddle games with you. And I hope Browns and exerts more force with his essence body is as soft as water, absorbing all the force like a sponge. Her smile widens, sending a chill down Rahul's spine. It's quite simple. Let me take you through it, step by step. We like flowers, so we hide the truth in them. Cosmos, lilies, and cherry blossoms. There are other words hidden behind them. The four seasons come and go. The dead are forgotten, and the flowers bloom and wither. Sort them out, and put them in their proper places. And then, day and night are reversed. Letters replace numbers and vice versa. Isn't it simple? <sighs> this is the secret comms code. The only code that penetrated the Disease Black Ring during the Eclipse operation. It was used to send you orders inside the ring. It came from the elusive Paradesos. As she babbles leisurely, she suddenly tugs uh, on a faint silk thread on the ground. Nearby, triggering a mechanism of the wall, several needles labeled with, uh, labeled with strange runes shoot out. Rahu refuses to let go of her shield, and the needles pierce deeply into her upper arm. This time, the needles aren't covered with neurotoxin, but something filthier and deadlier penetrates Rahu's consciousness like a living organization. Her vision gradually turns red. 
the voice of the enemy becomes distant. 